everybody, my name is Teresa Swan and this is a video I'm making about um, my thyroid problem. I've had that <coughs> well I was sorry that's my dog barking. <laughs> I was diagnosed with that about 17 years ago but I wondered if I'd had it longer before that. It, I was diagnosed with it after I had my second son and one Saturday morning I was taking my oldest boys to football. He was four or five then and I was feeling particularly unwell and I was thought I was going to pass out, I couldn't drive then so I was taking them to a bus stop, got on a bus, you know, folded the pram and thought I was going to drop the baby and when I got to my fa mother and father-in-law's and my son, oldest son was going to football across the road from their house uh, they said to me, you don't look well and uh, he, he had diabetes too and he took my um, read, you know, prick my finger and he said your blood sugar levels are one which I, I later knew once I was working as a carer I could have gone into a diabetic coma even though I didn't have diabetes you know, so that's how I went to the doctors and told him about this funny episode and that's how I got diagnosed with my thyroid problem because if your thyroid gland is out it can affect, of course it's a hormone so it can affect every single other hormone, including those that create the insulin, you know, from the pancreas. That's why my blood sugars were so low. Well, I've started working for Do doTERRA. I've been using quality oils for four years. I've been using Young Living's oils, and I was happy with those. But I only had peppermint, lemon, lavender, and orange. And I bought myself a, a lovely essential oil book by Gary Young. And that's a very, very informative book. But I wasn't learning anything else from the company, through the company. And then I met up with a representative from doTERRA, who might, who's now my team leader. And it, since I've been with them since about May time, I have learned so much more about essential oils. And I now, every day, rub some on the bottom of my feet when I go to bed. I, uh, But especially wanted to know a lot more about how I could use them to improve my thyroid problem. And reading through this wonderful book, you see that, Modern Essentials, this is like my bible. And another thing I suffer with, which I realised a few years back, is adrenal fatigue. And recently, I well really, since my thyroid went loopy loo at the beginning of the year and I had dangerously low levels of thyroid um, I have been back on the road of recovering from that you know it went extremely low and I do suffer with chronic fatigue and that could also be to do with my age you know I'm 52 so it could be to do with that couldn't it but I don't you know let numbers and those sort of decisions or your certain age that, that's why you must have that applied to me and so it's to do with my thyroid so it was a couple of weeks ago I thought oh, I'm going to look up in, in my book Adrenal Fatigue and the top oil for that is actually basil but I don't have basil at the moment that is one I'm going to be getting I'm just looking at the one above that <laughs> and, uh, but the second one is it rosemary, which is really, really important for adrenal fatigue support, and clove. Well, I've got clove and I've got rosemary. So, two, just over two, no, just under two weeks ago, I started to rub doTERRA rosemary onto my adrenal glands, you know, just all, all, all down the left side for that, and all down the right side each night when I go to bed. And I also, not every day, I've been rubbing this into my thyroid gland, but I've been rubbing clove oil onto my thyroid gland, frankincense, not loads of times a day, once or twice a day. And when you look up uh, thyroid, oh, it's not called thyroid, it's called, um, it's part of the endocrine system in your body. And thyroid problems, well, it says, for the endocrine system, which thyroid gland is part of that, one of the top oils for that is rosemary. So that's how I knew I had to put, and if you then look up energy, top oil is rosemary. 
Well, all I knew really about rosemary before was it was very good for um, waking you up, really. You know, if you needed to do a test, that sort of thing, or needed to be concentrating, which it is very good for that. But it's also good, extremely good for fatigue and adrenal gland fatigue. So that's sort of fatigue, isn't it? Because fatigue, wherever it is in the body, I suppose, is caused by the same sort of thing, isn't it? Also good for, like I said, is basil, which is really important. So that's what I've been doing for just less, less than two weeks, rubbing this on every night. If in the day, like I have done it today, rubbed in t into my adrenal glands and uh, my thyroid because I was feeling very tired last day and a half. So I've done it in the day and at night time and I've noticed a huge difference. So I don't believe there's one solution to everything in life to heal yourself. So there's multiple things and I am a very positive thinker and every day I am very appreciative from the day, the moment I wake up. I wasn't like this a few years ago, <laughs> I wasn't, really wasn't, you know, um, when I was in it, well not a few years ago, more than that, five, six years ago. But uh, every day I teach myself something new about, you know, talking to myself differently. And like I said, every day from the moment I open my eyes I'm like, oh thank you for today, thank you for waking up look outside and whether it's raining or sunny I say thank you for today thank you for what I'm going to learn today so obviously that is an improving my health because I do believe the way we think our thoughts and our feelings does create illness and also can boost our health or lower our health can it so that's what I wanted to say is that rosemary oil is greatly improving my adrenal fatigue and is one of the oils I'm using on my thyroid to improve my thyroid gland because when that's out which it is and when you take the tablets for that they don't last all day I've never ever felt they did and recently I was watching a video or sweet, it might have been in this book reading in here about the thyroxine that you get and it said it only lasts uh, about six hours so if you're taking it in the morning you take it as soon as you wake up, say some people that might be 6 o'clock, it's worn off 